Welcome back everyone to another video where today I think we should go camping, you know, but first of all Since the last time we went camping um, a lot has changed over Just a, under a year. We've got rid of quite a lot of stuff We have no campers or toys at the moment, but luckily a new store just opened a new camping store Which looks pretty good. I've seen it on the website. It used to be some sort of John Deere tractor store but now they've transformed it into some sort of camping store with campers, toys, RVs and stuff. So yeah, um, I think we should go ahead and go over there and see what it's like. Hopefully buy some stuff. We have 1.5 million to spend um, on on it as well. And then in the next video, we can actually go ahead and go camping. It will probably be in the same spot that we went uh, last time. Did really enjoy it up there. But on the map, it said it's somewhere right in this area as well which is a uh, pretty good so it's right up here ah yes there's there's the uh, John Deere sign and here it is it looks pretty good they have uh, some pretty good a pretty good setup hopefully you don't get hit by a train there but they have RVs they have campers looks pretty good you know definitely looks good so let's go ahead and pull up into the parking lot and then take a good look around at what they've got okay so straight up here um they have this $300,000 camper. Looks pretty good. That's definitely on the list on what we we could get as well. Definitely a very big fan of. The inside, if we can just about get in, looks like there's some extra storage here as well. Looks pretty good for $300,000. That one looks pretty good as well, but I'm not going to bother with that as it looks like it's getting repaired or something. This one looks very nice as well for $250,000. Bit cheaper, but definitely on the list. Definitely looks like a very good camp that we could use. Up here we have the RVs it looks like. Definitely could do with buying one of these as well. That's not too bad. The inside looks pretty good as well there. Not going to complain too much about them. But it would be cool if we did buy one. And the price is 400000 That would definitely put a dent in the bank account. But uh, who knows we might be able to uh, get one. Depending on how much money we have left at... Uh, the end but definitely on the list for campers here we have some car trailers which will definitely be useful for dirt bikes and and other toys that we can uh, use as well this that looks like a very nice one and it's open as well so the inside looks pretty good as well got some storage as well and plenty of room to store some of the vehicles in there as well over here we have a Grizzly Creek one and all oh, that one opens for a whole lot more storage Which is brilliant as well definitely on the list and we have another one over here 350,000 a bit more expensive. I think it was but uh, not too bad either got a lot more campers over here as well definitely Very high up on the list for what we could get and we, there's loads of options as well 250 that I think that's for this one, but definitely looks pretty good. The interior looks amazing. Wow, that's pretty good. You got a full living setup in here. In here, you could just live here on your own without a house or anything. Looks pretty good. Got a full kitchen, chairs, TV, and a take it up here is the bedroom. Bit a uh, bit small of an area though to get up there. But yeah, that looks pretty good to be honest. And let's take a look up. Over here, looks like you have some boats and some toys as well. Looks pretty good. Definitely, we used to have that one, 100,000. That's got up in price quite a lot. But it would be cool if we got this one again. I do miss uh, the old one. It had a lot of issues wrong with it. We didn't take it out enough. Got some other boats here. Looks pretty good, to be honest. Definitely a big fan of all of them. That would be brilliant if we could take out. Did we have one of these before? I can't remember too much. But over here... We have another camper for 200,000, not too bad, but here is where all the good stuff sat. So we have some razors, canams, we have a golf cart. Oh, that's uh, pretty, pretty interesting. And we have some, some whatever you'd call this Outlander. More canams and stuff and ATVs, not too bad. We're, we're definitely going to have to buy some of those as well. And I believe they also have some stock indoors as well. So, ah, yes, they have some dirt bikes as well. Another Outlander there. And we have a... Whatever you'd call this. But, yeah, we definitely do need some 
dirt bikes as well for off-roading and we also have a gator it looks like as well not too bad so then um what should we get um we have the money for quite a few stuff but i'm thinking we could get one of these but the only problem with that is it hasn't got a hitch on the back and that's going to be annoying considering we'd have to pull a car trailer or a boat trailer as well because i'd like to buy both of those as well but then if we bought like an rv uh, that wouldn't be too much of a problem but i'm not too sure to be honest i believe this one has a hitch on the back does it yes it does so that would be very useful but decisions 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 i have no clue what to get um i don't think i'm gonna get any of the grizzly creek toy haulers uh today at least but definitely gonna get some sort of camper and rv hopefully okay i've made my decision it's been pretty uh pretty hard to make but we're gonna buy more than one camper actually we're gonna buy this one um looks looks amazing definitely could have really turned down this and we're also gonna buy this one as well um although that doesn't have a hitch and it'll have to be pulled separately with this one we can definitely put something else on the back which is a huge help and then i, I think that's going to cost us around six hundred thousand, maybe um for both of those and i don't think we're gonna we're gonna get an rv today um but maybe in a uh an another campaign video we might but who uh knows for the future we're definitely going to get one of these trailers and a boat and then for the uh toys not so sure yet but i guess we'll just find out when we talk to uh the sales manager okay so i think we're gonna try and get this one here i'm definitely a very big fan of it and then for boat wise we're, we're obviously gonna get this one and then for some of these i think we should actually get like this can of here uh possibly this atv and then some dirt bikes as well so what i'm gonna do is talk to um one of the workers and then see if we can get a price done and then get uh everything what we uh, can so i'll see you in just one second okay so i have just we've just made a deal and uh as you can see we have now got a uh, we nearly lost a million on everything that we've bought now, but we do officially own uh, some things as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and bring the car over and then collect everything what we've bought and then load it all up and then take it over to the house ready for the tomorrow where we will be going camping. So let's just jump into this and then first of all, we'll do, we'll do the car trailer, I think, and then a bit of a tight squeeze. Don't want to try and damage anything uh right now but yeah uh, we're gonna go with the harley davidson one here not too bad definitely a pretty big fan of so uh let's try and rotate this around if we can without uh damaging anything very very heavy this though as as well just turn it there that should be enough probably should have lifted up the uh back before we done that but now we can go ahead and attach it to the car please don't break anything uh, that would be a nightmare if that happened let's just go ahead and fold up this trailer no we don't want to because we still gotta load some some stuff in so let's just back it up there for now and we got two dirt bikes as well we got the this ktm here and we also got the lizard the uh, lizard one here so not too bad so let's go ahead and load them up into the trailer and put her into the trailer and if we can um i'm gonna actually try and rotate this round will it fit yes it will just so we can fit as much as we can in there without having any issues really and put the other one in there like so and now to load up all the other things into here i think we have enough space but yeah we, we did go with this uh canon here definitely a pretty big 
fan of. Looks like it's 4x4 four four and... Um, I think it's not too sure what uh, wheel drive it is. But uh, let's go ahead and get this, this one loaded up into the trailer. Try not to hit that boat if we can or damage anything. Got an awful lot of wheel spin there. It's definitely struggling to uh, go in uh, annoyingly. But we'll slowly get there. Hopefully or not. Let's just give it a bit of a push. Is that enough? Come on, you're right there. You're nearly there. You can do it. Slowly but surely. There we go. There we go. Now we are all loaded up. Get it as close to the bike as we can. How much closer? Oh, okay there. That is enough. There we go. And we have quite a bit more space as well left, which is pretty good considering I have actually bought this this can am as well so oh that's got some acceleration i did oh i did not expect that to be that fast um i guess i should have asked for uh, the stats of it that nearly went probably wrong oh boy oh uh we'll eventually get in there um hopefully nearly there oh there we go that's in uh, just about made all that in um, but that is pretty much all of the toys that we've got for now I think um, If we get enough time we might come back later on and buy some other things considering we, we have a bit of storage in In there as well, but first of all, let's go ahead and fold up this trailer and put uh, The straps over it and then fold up the trailer like so and then we'll just go ahead and pull this round to the front. And then we'll go ahead and pick up the other campers. Okay, just reverse it back. And we'll go ahead and pick up the uh, this one at the back. Nearly uh, wrecked it there. But we'll go ahead and pick up this one. Okay, this is going to be a challenge, actually. Why don't we go ahead and get... Um, this camp out the way as I've also bought this one, which we will have a lot more room to actually get the other one out. So just back it up into there. And does this even have a hitch? I think it does, but whether it's... I, I don't think um, it's long enough. Let's just... Yeah, um, I'm going to just go ahead and pick up a uh, different car real quick, just so we can actually move it and as i don't think uh, this one actually has a proper working hitch so let's just go ahead and get on over to the house and then pick up a, a different car and then uh, we can actually move it okay i think we'll just go ahead and get with the uh the, the ford f450 as i know this one works pretty well definitely should have picked it beforehand so let's just go ahead and swing it round and then get back over to the shop Okay, just back it up nice and slowly and there we go let's just go ahead and fold this up now like so okay that's that one done so we'll go ahead and attach the trailer to this one and then we can go ahead and take it over to the house in a in a second try not to hit one of those rvs that would have gone very very wrong if we did just back it up nice and slowly. There we go. There's the attachment. Like so. So uh, we'll go ahead and take this on over to the house now. And then we'll go ahead and pick up everything else after. Swing it nice and wide so we don't hit. Try not to go to the ditch there either. Hopefully no trains are coming. As that would definitely be a bad thing if it did. And swing it nice and wide into the neighbourhood there whilst taking down a, a stop sign <laughs> okay right then where do we put this i think i would just uh leave it alongside of uh the road and just leave it right uh, here to be honest i'm sure uh the neighbors won't mind doing that 
And let's just go ahead and get back over to the shop real quick and then take everything else. Hey, let's just hope we can actually attach to it. Um, I'm going to just get someone to actually try and move it out the way first, but then we can actually attach it then. So just be right back. And just like that, it is done. So we can actually finally attach to it if we can even get off of uh, the fence there. Just line it up like so. And oh, that's uh, that was interesting uh, then. So let's actually, or not, let's just cheat a bit real quick and uh, just move it a bit further back. Okay, attach that like so and fold it all up. Brilliant. Okay, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and take this on over to the house and then we can go ahead and get the boat. And then we are pretty much done. Please don't hit anything though, that would be very expensive for us. But uh, there we go, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to just drop this right next to the garage up uh, there try not to go into a house though before uh, we do that so let's just back it up nice and easy like so try not to to crash or anything and hopefully it all fits in without blocking the road yes it does just about so detach that and now to go ahead and get the boat and then we have pretty much got everything ready for tomorrow Okay, now for the boat. Hopefully, um, it don't come flying off uh, whilst we're driving, as that tends to happen quite a lot. But hopefully, we'll we'll be fine. I think the boat's all attached to. Yes, it is. Like so. Right then, now to take this over to the, to the house, and then we are good to go. And hopefully, this one will actually float. Um, the last time we. The last time we went camping, that didn't really work so well, and we did lose the boat as well, uh, sadly. So hopefully this one will work fine. And we'll drop this right off next to the camper as well, and then we are pretty much done for today. Okay, let's just park it up real quick there. But yeah, there we go. We have pretty much... I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. But there we go. We have pretty much bought everything ready to, to go camping in the next video. So I hope you all did enjoy. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more and better content. And other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.